So I'm Fiona Penny as an Olympian and a Kenyan Salam athlete, but I'm also a, a hockey player, a boat repairer, um, I, I play my drum kit, um, I uh, love a bit of DIY, I love you know, everything to do with property as well. I like to do other things just to sort of keep me away from my boat. When I'm training, you'll see all my focus is on training and going away on camps, but um, it's also good to have something else to do. So when I first moved down to Lee Valley, I actually joined the hockey club to make some friends out with the sport of canoe slalom because when we first moved, there was only, I think, eight people moved down here and that was all I knew. Um, so it was good to make friends with, you know, 100 other people basically in a hockey club. And I really enjoy that, having something else completely away from it. They don't always ask about canoeing. It's, it's good fun just to have something else social. And um, yeah, like, and then other things keep me busy during the day. I can take my focus away from canoeing and fixing boats and uh, doing DIY around the house. Yeah, I guess I managed to fit it in just by keeping on going actually. I never stop. Everyone knows me as someone who runs around all the time, never stopping. And I guess it's not my nature to sit down and watch TV or play on computer games or something. That's just not me. It's uh, I like to keep busy. It's what keeps me fresh. I get a bit lethargic otherwise. And um, yeah, I think that is a good way to go. Yeah, my coach, uh, he, he always tells me, oh, try and take it a little bit easier, like, oh, rest up this afternoon, but he knows secretly, fine, well, I'll have some project going on at home that I'll be getting on with, and, uh, well, as for my family, I'd probably take after my mother, she was just the same, or is just the same, never stops and doesn't know where the stop button is. During the winter, it's uh, a little bit harder, I'm always a little bit tired or so to actually get up and do something else. It's, it's sometimes a bit more difficult and especially if it's cold outside, I don't really want to be like going out to the garage and doing some projects. So, um, you know, it's it's difficult in the winter, but in the summer, like, yeah, the, the weather is usually such that uh, I'll get on with something. For instance, this summer I've been uh, doing my back garden and there's all sorts of woodwork been going on with that. Yeah, when I eventually retire, whenever that will be. Um, yeah, I, I guess I hope to like get into a bit of property stuff. Uh, perhaps I'll be like doing it initially with my own house and then like we'll see where we go as to what I, what I can afford in terms of buying another property and doing something with that. Yeah, I'm uh, doing this uh, property development course funded by the UK Personal Development Award. It's been really interesting so far. Um, it goes through everything that there is to know about property development. Um, and you know, there's a little bit of um, mechanics even in it, which I remember from a, a little bit from school and from university as well, actually, that I was thinking, oh man, I'm having to scratch my brain here to remember how, how to do this. But um, yeah, it does, it covers all areas. So it's really important, I think, for the, the future of what I, I may go into with um, being able to manage the project of a, a whole property development on my own. I think it's really important to have something else away from the sport. I think if you put all your focus on the sport then you know something goes wrong or if you get injured you have a bad result then you have nothing else and you you know you could fall down quite hard from that and really struggle, struggle mentally. Um, but I think to have something else you can put your focus straight over onto that you know if I have a bad result you probably find me the next day doing a project of some description and like my mind is onto that and I try and forget about the bad result and know it doesn't change me as a person at all. Uh, I think my advice for other athletes would be, yeah, to find something else. I think you know sometimes athletes feel like they have to be all about the sport, and you know the the their sporting the governing body or their program might think bad of them if they have something else going on. But actually, it's a good thing to have that, and it keeps you ticking over and have something else to focus on rather than like putting everything on your sport because sometimes that can actually drain you too much. <laughs>